Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Live here, and I am not alone. I am joined by Mr. Zeon. Oh, uh, that's my cue? Uh, hey! <laughs> hey! How's it going, everybody? Yep, it's me. Glad to have you here. I'm also joined by Mr. John. Hi, I'm John, and I own a Switch. And not only, but also, we are also joined for the first time by another Nintendo Life employee, Kate. That's me. Yes, and Kate is uh, integral to this discussion that we're having here because <laughs> this little chatteroony is all about Kate's Switch. <laughs> Basically, well, I'll tell you what, Kate, why don't you let everyone know what's happened to your Switch? My Switch has been loved and well used. That's what's happened to my Switch, and I will not accept any slander, except for the fact that I did sign up for this video, which is entirely going to be slander about my Switch and how beaten up it is. Well, I, you, we don't, you don't have to think of it as slander. More, more or less, we're just trying to understand how this happened. So this is your chance to defend yourself, right? Or, mm -hmm. or, or anyone that has a Switch like this, because it seems like you're not alone, but there aren't a lot of people that are experiencing the sort of Switch issues that mm -hmm. your switch is uh is having i like that you're phrasing it like issues like it just happened it just happened to <laughs> me uh i i agree that it did just happen to me i just do not think that the viewers will agree that this is not entirely my fault <laughs> yes so um if if the game hasn't been given away already Kate's Switch is in a bit of a bad way and um for some context um my switch for example my Switch is absolutely fine. It's immaculate. I'm not I'm not trying to show off to Kate at all, but it is there are no issues with it whatsoever. Physically, it is absolutely fine. John, I believe you're the same. Yeah, more or less. Um it's got a couple of scuffs, like a little bit of scratches on the bezel a tiny bit, but in terms of usability, it's absolutely fine. And like, I take it um, around quite a lot before the pandemic especially, like I took it on flights, I took it on train rides, and it's held up remarkably well. And what about you, Zeon? How's your Switch? Mine's mine's pretty good. Um, it's got some uh, it's got some scratches on the the back of the Animal Crossing special edition plate, which makes me very very sad. Like, why did I even buy this in the end? Uh, actually, actually, work paid for this one. Now that I think about it, so um, never I didn't never know, mind. Scratch that. I didn't know you that. got you got oh you Must cheeky nice. you cheeky sod. I didn't know you got that one gratis. Yep yep yep. Uh, but yeah, this this switch is pretty nice. I it's no issues beyond beyond that. All in good nick. Um, and then we have well, Kate. Uh, you have some images <laughs> that we haven't seen yet, um, and yeah, that you're about to share with us. And we will subsequently share with you <sighs> the lovely people watching. So, Kate, describe these pictures. Okay, so here here is a, a gentle beginning. Okay, this is my oh, switch. How, how cute! It's looking okay. It's so cute. Do those are those practical? No, because I, I want a set. Uh, they're they're just adorable. I so the backstory with the frog and the bee is that uh, <laughs> I wanted to buy new Joy-Con skins because I was like, listen, I've got spoilers. I've got Joy-Con drift on all of my Joy Cons, uh, <gasps> oh. which makes it sound like I have a lot. I I have two sets. Um. So I, I went shopping for skins and they're really expensive. Like I'm, I'm talking the actual shell. Um, I wanted to break into the Joy-Cons and fiddle around with all the insides and probably break them. And I thought, well, if I'm gonna do that, I might as well make them pink. Uh, so all I managed to find was these little uh, thumbstick caps, which do absolutely nothing for the Joy-Con drift, but they're so cute. So. Uh, this this video that's not a video it's an image this image doesn't look too bad it's uh it's honestly quite a nice switch uh, yeah, and a lovely it looks all right. cloth too yeah i can quite see nice. some very minor like scratches on the x button yes so that is something i will talk about later um i do have a zoom in picture of that but but here's the screen here's a close up of the screen you probably can't see it too well but there are some scratches on the screen i did polish the screen uh, with a t-shirt. Mm. <laughs> this isn't setting up that I do take care of my items. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I scrubbed it with one of those sponges made of metal beforehand just to make sure it looked pretty and it didn't work. Weird. Um, so I, I have heard that you're supposed to put toothpaste on 
<gasps> on a scratch oh, no, switch screen. No. I didn't. I haven't. I haven't done that. But oh, that's why it's Christ. still scratched because I haven't put any toothpaste on it. This is a really common thing with discs. Like if, if your disc is scratched, all your device will say put toothpaste on it. And it's never, <laughs> not once has it ever solved the issue for me. <laughs> I don't understand what toothpaste is supposed to do. Well, it's a, it's a, it's an abrasive. It works, it, the thing is, it's, it works well on things like car headlights. Things where it doesn't need to be like a, a crystal clear polish, like a screen where it okay. needs to be ultra clear. It just needs to let light out without being hazy. And it's good for that. I do it myself. It does not work okay. with this sort of application, though. Does it matter what kind of, like, scent it is? Like, is your car minty? <laughs> My car is extremely minty. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, so th those are the first two pictures. I do, I do have more, but I feel like I should <laughs> open the floor for comments. I, I think it looks, it's, I mean, I would have put a screen protector on as I've got on all my switches. Um, <laughs> it's too oh, late of now. of course. Yeah, but I can, I can understand that's incidental damage. I, I yeah. can see why that would happen. That's not, I wouldn't say, I would say it's unfortunate, but not unusual. Yeah, I mean, this looks pretty common. I imagine most people's switches are like this, if not worse. It, it, at least in this image, it doesn't look that bad. But um, I have heard some claims about your Switch, Kate, so I know it gets a bit worse than this. Oh yeah, we, we're getting to that. So we'll begin with the face buttons. Oh, if you, uh... Did a dinosaur attack this? Oh boy. So do you want to know what that is? Cat teeth. <laughs> what? Gnawing on the X button. The fun fact is, I don't have a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, yeah, so, uh... Do you have an open when, door? How did that happen? <laughs> it's, there is a sensible story behind it. Uh, when my friend found out that I had Joy-Con Drift, they were like, Oh, well, I have, you know, 10,000 billion Joy-Cons. Just take some of mine. And I was like, yeah, right, free Joy-Cons, don't mind if I do. Um, yeah, that's so generous. They have cats, they have two cats at the time, three cats now. Uh... And one of them loves to nibble. That cat's name is Gnome. That's a good name. And she's the cutest. So, if anything, I, I feel like this is a badge of honor. Gnome tried to eat these Joy-Cons. I just love that the Joy-Con itself is pretty much unscathed, but the, the X button somehow got like a, a war badge out of this. There is also a tiny nibble on the the actual thumbstick, but um, I've worn it down with my thumbs, so you can't see it anymore. <laughs> so, so if this cat likes to bite, um, does that mean it's Gnome Chomsky? Ooh, oh, that's no. good. That is good. Well, it's not. It's bad. It's very bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there we go. We So far, I think this switch is telling a story. You know, like when you have a cool scar across your face and you're like, yeah, I, I lost my eye in a fight with a dragon, but it's a cat instead. <laughs> and when, when you're a Joy-Con, a cat is basically a dragon, relatively. I mean, clearly that's what Gnome thought. Okay, next picture. Here's where, here's where it starts to get bad. <sighs> okay. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. This, this is pretty that's common. So rough. I, I remember when the Switch first came out, people were getting cracks all the time. This, this is a fairly common thing. It looks like you've tried to insert the SD card in the top and you tried way <laughs> too hard. Apparently that's not where it goes, yeah. Um, so I thought that this was my fault and it probably is, but apparently there's also some component back here that swells up when the switch is running, getting hot and the plastic doesn't like it. And there's a sort of fault line around where this screw is because I've seen a lot of pictures of other people having a similar issue. So if that screw was a bit looser, it might not have cracked. Um, it's too late now, obviously. And there's also this big chip in the top, which mm. uh, I've never found where that plastic went. I'm guessing Gnome got to it. <laughs> uh, no, because Gnome's never met my Switch, only the Joy-Cons. Well, that's disappointing. That doesn't work with the thing that I said. When I see people get cracks near their vent or at the top of the switch, it tends to be like a little crack, but this one's like slowly going down to the middle point. It's, it's huge. Um, what you can't see is that it actually joins back up with the edge of the switch on the oh left. God. Oh, Jeez. no way. Oh, I think I can just about see. Is the screw the only thing that's holding it in place then? 
I believe so, yes. Oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> but that means that the crack won't get any bigger. It's finished. It's done its job. That's true. <laughs> it knows its limit. I'm not proud of this, okay? We'll get to why everything looks like this, but I'm going to show you the next picture if you've finished making fun. <laughs> <laughs> Look forward to okay, this, it. Okay, this one's going to make everyone cry. Here we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just sad already. Oh, oh my god. Oh. So It's like it's lost all its teeth. <laughs> this yeah. is another common problem with the Switch, is that these tiny little plastic, like, I don't know what you call them, a like toothpick bits. They're very thin, very fragile. Um, don't really stand up to anything, really. And once they're gone, well, then other bits start falling out. Evidently. <laughs> Do you have your kickstand still, Kate? I do. You can see it in the back. I was going to brag about that. I've still got the kickstand. Listen. That's one thing you've got over me. I, lo I lost my kickstand pretty early on. Um, and I've, I've tried replacing it with some like cheap alternative ones, but they, they just fall out again. And I don't think yeah. they actually sell replacement ones in the UK. I know they do in, in the US, but official ones, I don't think they sell again. So I keep losing mine. The kickstand is remarkably flimsy. Like, whenever I do use it, which is not often for obvious reasons, um, it feels like it's going to snap in half, like someone standing on a leg made of a stick, you know? Uh-huh. I think... I, let me just check if I've got any more pictures. Like, I have Joy-Con Drift, and you're probably going to be showing some of the videos of me attempting to calibrate my Joy-Cons. Um, <laughs> but I think that's it for, for the damage pictures. So I can now begin to regale you with the tale of how this all came to be. I would love to hear what hammer you used to destroy this switch. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so when the switch was, was first announced and when it was being marketed, it was, it's a hybrid console, you know? You can, you can sit at home, you can put it in the dock and you can play Breath of the Wild with your very photogenic family or you can take it to apparently rooftop parties, which we're all having, and you can go under a bridge to your cool skateboard basketball buddies. Do you remember this advert? Oh, vividly. That's just my life, but yeah. yeah. You're painting such a wonderful picture. It's <laughs> so frame by I frame. The... <laughs> exactly. I'm going to just narrate the whole advert for you. But I was the person <laughs> who was going to rooftop parties and basketball games under a bridge. I might be mixing up some of them. Um... And it turns out that if you only do that, it's not a very good handheld console because unlike the 3DS, which I have had for many years, it does not stand up to travel very much. Uh, I noted that you, some of you have taken your Switch on flights uh, and other such travel adventures, but I pretty much lived out of a bag for a year. And so I've been on probably a lot more flights. That's not a brag. Uh, I went to a lot of game events for work. It's much less cooler than it sounds. I've been on a plane like eight times in my life, and that's including return yep. journeys. So uh, oh, really? try and be that if you can. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in that one year, I went to, let's see, Berlin, um, somewhere in the Netherlands. I think it was, no, that's Belgium. I went to Belgium. <laughs> Oh, no, embarrassing. Okay, uh, Sweden, uh, Canada, Los Angeles, San Francisco, probably some other places that I'm forgetting. England. I was in England. Whoa, um, I've been there. Well, I've been all over some parts of the world, and uh, this, is, this is the bit that really incriminates me. I didn't have a case. I was gonna, that was gonna be my next question. What case did you yeah. put it in, if any? My God. <laughs> I, love the, I love the fact that Alex assumed too that like you, you had to have had it. You had to have had a case, right? Where, what kind of case? What kind? <laughs> and the answer is, it was a no case. Have you ever heard of a no case? Yeah. So I did, I had a sort of attempt at a case, which was um, a sort of very gently padded fabric laptop case, which I put it in and I folded it because it's a laptop case. And well, it's the, the, for, the like... laptop case or the switch? <laughs> oh, the switch in half. That's, that's why it's uh, cracked. Sorry? That's why it's cracked. You folded the switch in half and you've cracked it. Yeah, yes, I did. <laughs> so I had this like fabric case that sort of kept 
it didn't protect it as much as it kept all the bits that fell off in one place. <laughs> oh no. Don't tell me you still have like all the bits like a parent no, keeps their children's I teeth, I mean... right? <laughs> when you take on and off your left Joy-Con, do you ever yes. fear that you're gonna break your switch? Because the crack is so close to the the latch button. I'm doing it right now right. and I that had never occurred to me. No. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll just be shaking in fear if I were you. Does the piece of plastic pivot around the screw hole? Okay, I'm gonna have to try this. Like, um, don't break it off if so. Please don't. No, but. be careful, <laughs> but be, you know, scientific. There is there is actually some wiggle to it. Oh, yeah. no. Um, I do not think it pivots, um, but you Good. can sort of wiggle it a little bit. Did you guys ever have issues with the DS Lite hinge? Because I definitely oh, did. Oh, baby. No. Yeah. Oh, here we go. No. I'm my, so um, glad you brought that up. My OG white DS Lite, um, the hinge just completely came off. But the good part oh. about that is, if you lose the top screen, you basically like you've got a GBA down there. You can still use it without the top screen on there. So, Kate, your your switch has taken a bit of a pounding. I think it's fair to say. Um, yes. And it sort of culminates in the fact that naturally. You want to replace it, and I know that because you you said it prior. So you you want to replace the switch, but there is the big problem of right now. There are so many rumors going around about the idea of a Switch Pro and the Nintendo. Oh, they're going to release it. They released it yesterday. You just missed it, or whatever thing that somebody's come out with recently. So that is naturally that's put you off buying another standard Switch because why would you pay for another old one? When there could be a new one. Yes. Well, okay. I I have actually I have an exclusive reveal. It's not a Switch Pro. It's not that <laughs> oh, interesting. Man. But I I did I did get a new Switch. <laughs> oh <laughs> when? When did this happen? Like last week. Oh, I you were actually able to find yet. one. I feel like you should have told us this before we made an entire video about you wanting to get a Switch. No, this is this is great surprises. This, I love yeah, it. What a this twist. This is emergent narrative, Alex. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so here's what happened. Um, I wrote the piece about how battered my Switch was, and everyone in the comments was really mean to me. And I thought, <laughs> you know, my job is literally playing a Switch pretty much every day. Um, and I was sitting in bed and playing it. Uh, I don't even remember what it was. I think it was Story of Seasons. And my Switch was going, ah, and I thought, this can't be good. This, this is not a, a demanding game. And so I started to worry that maybe my Switch would explode and I would die in the explosion and therefore wouldn't be able to review new games, which would be terrible for the website and for me being dead. A slight um, a slight bit of paranoia there, not gonna lie, but um, yeah. It's a really scary noise. I will say that would make a pretty good news piece, but not worth it, oh. not worth it in the end. If I died, yeah. Well, from a switch explosion, that that was that was the, the big thing. But yeah, you're right, if you died also, that would be, whoa. Well, I really remember bad. when I was at school and uh, there was this rumor going around that a kid in like the year above had left his DS charging for a week and it exploded. No uh, way. Yeah. I mean, I never, I wasn't a journalist at the time, so I didn't verify the claims. But so, yeah, I, I you know, with all these rumors of people exploding or whatever, I, I thought, well, my Switch is probably, it's either going to explode or it'll stop working. And then I'll have to go a few weeks without a Switch. So I should probably get ahead of the game, and get a new Switch. And of course, being the similarly jammy bastard that I am, I uh, <laughs> contacted the editors of Nintendo like, <laughs> uh, to be like, hello, uh, is this an expense? Is this, I... I'm so sorry for the people listening who were like, ah, oh, what a terrible human she is getting a free Switch. But I would like to remind people that I, I hate asking for expenses, so I don't do it. My Switch is almost dead, and I do do this for a job. So please don't be too mean to me. <laughs> it is one of the very few perks. <laughs> um, so I did, I did get the editors to be like, yeah, of course, that's an expense that we at Nintendo Life can can do. And it happened very quickly after that. Um, Damien said, well, I found one. There is a catch, though. And it, if it's okay with you, that it's an okay catch. It's still a Nintendo Switch. 
but it is the Fortnite Switch. Oh, no. So, so it's, uh, it's covered in characters, and I don't know who any of them are. There's a tomato with a face, maybe a mustache, um, and a dog, and all sorts of other things. And the Joy-Cons are very beautiful. I'll send you a picture. Uh, there's a yellow one and a blue one, and they're lovely colors, but they do have Fortnite branding on them. And I think it is a bus, uh, perhaps, I think, a battle bus. Is that Fortnite? I think you're using the right terms. Just ask Reggie. Reggie will know. Yeah, Reggie will know. I'll give him a call after this. Um, cool, so cool. It's- Kay Gray, the 60-year-old gamer. <laughs> No, I just haven't played Fortnite. I really like the Fortnite song. I don't know if you've mentioned that. It's a Fortnite song. It's not official. It's by like a (laughs) fifteen-year-old, and it's to the tune of "American Boy" by Estelle. It's excellent. I highly recommend it. That's about all I know about Fortnite. So when we return to normal life, Kate, and you go back to your roof parties and. Your un- yes. underground baseball game about basketball games. <laughs> underground baseball um, games that would be impressive. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> yep. You're going to be roaming the world with a Fortnite Switch, and everyone's just going to be like, "Oh no, she must know her stuff about the battle bus." Wow, I never, I never took you as a Fortnite fan, Kate, and you're going to go. <laughs> oh yeah, love it. So I'm, I don't know. Uh, well, this is another secret: is that I got the Fortnite Switch like a week or two ago, and I haven't actually turned it on yet because I'm scared. <laughs> I don't scared trust of? myself. You scared? Sorry. What? I, I'm scared. I'm scared to touch it. I'm scared to. Well, first of all, it's it's um, I believe it is a Japanese switch. So I'm scared that I'll turn it on and it'll say a bunch of stuff and I'll be like, uh, I this is in Japan. <laughs> yes, you'll get that common menu pop up saying, do you want this switch to explode? And you won't know which <laughs> option to choose. The IR sensor will scan you, Kate, and be like, you're oh, no. not Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> this is not for you. Your original piece was about wanting a Switch Pro to replace your broken Switch. Do yes. you, like, if a Switch Pro were announced, would you still use your Fortnite Switch, or would that become like would that be your new Switch? Oh God, I don't know. I quite like the Fortnite Switch. The, it feels very chunky. I don't know if my Switch has just been worn down from four <laughs> years of touching it, but it feels a lot chunkier than. I'm fairly certain all switches have the same girth. You would think. So my switch, I didn't I didn't get to really dive into this because this is this is Kate's story here. But my switch, my original one before my Animal Crossing one, was doing some of the same cracking yours was, but not nearly as severe. And uh but so when I got the Animal Crossing one, it did feel different as well. I don't I don't yeah. know why and it's it's hard to go back to that those memories because it was a year ago. But I do just remember feeling it just felt better. <laughs> yes. I, I, maybe it was just because it was so used, you know. Can I just say that we we, we were going to have this discussion because we could tie it into the Switch Pro and how, you uh-huh. know, sort of this is a problem with failing Switches. And it turns out Kate got a new one. And now we're talking about how the new one feels thicker. Well, okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get a new one. Well, you did <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely a feeling when you get a new Joy-Con. I, I've only got two sets of Joy-Con, my, my launch one and then the neon ones. And when I, I had the, um, the, the launch ones for a long time, and they always sort of felt warm. Like, even if I never use them in, like, days, they still felt warm to the touch. <laughs> when you get some new Joy-Con, there's something silky about them. It's a different feeling. To be fair, I genuinely have issues with this. I think something to do with the oils in my hands and that I just generally secrete um, yeah. are weirdly corrosive. <laughs> like very corrosive um yes. like i react with a lot of different metals um like i basically strip silver plating off things um oh. just by Are wearing okay, them Alex? which is really <laughs> really weird um and i've noticed it on my pro controller my, my pro controller is semi-glossy now and i'm not a big mm. fan of that have you looked into seeing if you could use this power for Good. I've tried to fight crime with it, but it, 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 the, the, the time frame that it actually takes for me to corrode through things isn't really practical. Do you want to know a fun, a fun secret about the Switch that I didn't even remember until we were planning this video? Go on. Hmm. Guess where I bought the Switch from? Where'd you buy it? Ant. What? From Ant? Yeah, I, I have a DM conversation here. 
that says, hey, Kate, can you pay me this amount of money? And I'll, I'll send you the switch. March 22nd, 2017. And we should we should specify for our listeners, who is Ant again, everyone? <laughs> one, one of the big boys. And Ant <laughs> is, the, um, is the founder of Nintendo Life. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like it's actually sort of serendipitous. It's become this like beautiful full circle story where I, I bought a Switch off Ant uh, over four years ago. Destroyed and it. I, <laughs> the thing is, I wasn't going to get a Switch. I didn't really have a lot of money at the time. Um, and I had spent all my money on like flights and various other things that I was planning to do for freelance work. Um, but then I was like, oh, but Breath of the Wild does look very fun, doesn't it? So, yeah, I uh, was living in London in a friend's house for a very brief portion of the year. And so I was like, send it there. <laughs> it's all come back full circle. I know. I think that's quite lovely, actually. I almost talked like Sonic the Hedgehog. Someone needs to shut me down. I think, I think, you, should, I think you should talk like Sonic the Hedgehog. I think you should, you should say... Um, uh, Kate's the name. Breaking switches is my game. <laughs> <laughs> hey kids, if you get a Nintendo Switch, make sure you put it in a case, cause you never know what's gonna happen to it when you're taking it to all your rooftop parties and your basketball <laughs> games. You just want to be careful. Remember, protect that Switch. Yep. That's that was that was better than I could have That's hoped. Stupendous. Actually. <laughs> As in, that was genuinely of quality. <laughs> I do want to say, though, if you have a launch switch and it's falling apart, it might not be your fault either. So don't feel yeah. too bad about it. When Roger Craig Smith announced he was stepping down as the voice of Sonic, I did wonder who it was going to be. But I think Sonic <laughs> is revealed. He's taken the role. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I, I didn't mean to like derail the conversation that much. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to be the, in the Sonic. The conversation has been too, off the rails the for a good, <laughs> I don't know, half an hour by this point. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, that's the um, that's the surprising tale of woe of Kate uh. Switch, which this is not the video I expected to record, even slightly. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, it just it went in a totally different direction. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to think of a different title before I put this out. <laughs> but um, thank you, Kate, for sharing your your of your um, well loved Switch with us. Um, it's, <laughs> It's been very entertaining to see, and I'm very pleased you got a new one um, because it's useful for work. It sure is. And I'm sorry for keeping back so many secrets, but I am a journalist, and that's what I do. It, isn't the idea to share thing. secrets, or is that just a, whist yeah, that's a whistleblower? Those were it? my scoops. I had scoops. I'm really curious to see how many people in the comments are going to come out and say, like, I have a Switch like this as well, you know? So if yeah. you do, let us know. Yeah. yeah. Be really keen to see. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you keep an eye out for a hairline crack on that subscribe button and be sure to check out nintendolife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. I don't even have a Switch. I just pretend I do. Yeah, Doc, I think we're going to need to go in for surgery on this one. I'm going to come to your house and break all your Switches. <laughs> <laughs> we don't usually end with a threat. Bye-bye. <laughs>